Hey everyone, this is Kodasha. Uh, we're going to continue with my review of uh, LEGO Mindstorm's 51515 Robot Inventor. So we're going to start with uh, MVP, that's short for the Modular Vehicle Platform. As usual, we have a video to show you the features. So let's go ahead and build this. Now one of the unique things that I find about this robot, actually there are a couple of unique things. One is of course it uses the differential. I can't remember any other LEGO Mindstorm set that actually included the differential. Um, quite possibly 9797 had it, but uh, not 5, um, but not 31313. And the other thing that I would like to point out is that as usual you have to align uh, the moto before you uh, build it into the robot. Make sure that the dot uh, on the hub aligns with the casing. Now that's one of the unique features of this robot is that um, you can actually position the chassis uh, in two different ways. You can uh, make it straight or you can make it uh, bent as you can see here. So this is a look at the program. The first program is very simple. Now, one of the things that i like to point out is that uh, in the previous video, I said that it was quite hard to align the, um, the hub and the moto casing uh, because if you want the parts uh, to be straight, um, sometimes the gears, the way the gears mesh would stop it from actually being perfectly straight. It would be like a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. Now, I think it's not so important uh, in, in the case of MVP or perhaps for all the other robots because the calibration uh, actually means that uh, you do not actually need to be aligned uh, in order to start using the robot. Um, to show you what I mean, this is uh, what the front chassis of uh, MVP looks like after the alignment uh, procedure. So you can see that the motor hub is very slightly askew and it needs to be askew in order for the wheels to be straight. So before you start uh, playing with the robot, it will align and after it's finished alignment, um, then you can see that the wheels are straight even if the motor hub is not. So as usual, a very simple program. You can see that the wheels are aligned uh, when you start off with, then it just makes a, a turn. So this is the program that you saw earlier. Now the second uh, program is really quite fun. Uh, you're not going to do any building, but you will be using uh, your smart device as a remote control. So you can see the flashing uh, circle tells you where to click and unfortunately you can't really use this on a computer because uh, on a computer you can only move the slider uh, one at a time and they don't stick. So if you look at the program you can see there is a specialized controller block and this controller block uh, actually you can set it uh, very uh, different ways. Okay, So this gives you a lot of flexibility. And of course, if you have a cat, what you would do is chase your cat around with a robot. Now, I just want to point out that uh, the controls are slightly laggy. It means when you make a turn or you uh, go forward or backward, it does not respond uh, immediately. There's a definite lag there, which is why my cat is very unconcerned. You know, she can get out of the way really easily. So let's take a look at the remote control in more detail. So as you can see, there are the two sliders, and you can customize it. If you click on the plus button, you can see that there's a whole bunch of uh, controls that you can add. So I'm just going to add one now. So this is, uh, you can position it at any position. This is an eight-way joystick. So let's add a button now. So that's the button. 
So when you click the tick, uh, you can uh, go ahead and use these controls. Now, they are not predefined. Uh, you'll have to add them to your programming blocks. To delete, it's very easy. You just uh, tap on the three dots on the upper right corner. Then you can just uh, delete it or change color to something else and so on. Now, let's have a look at Tricky. Now, as you can see, Tricky is an extremely compact bot. Uh, it's a very, very small bot. It's the smallest bot. I, I think this is the one you should build first if you are not used to building with Mindstorms. And another thing I noticed about Tricky is that it looks very much like one of those robots that you might build um, for First Lego League or World Robot Olympiad. Um, it's small, it's maneuverable, you can put all kinds of attachments on it. So Tricky has a ton of uh, attachments that you can put on him. This is the first program that uh, you get and it just makes Tricky uh, move when the ED detects your hand. Now you'll notice a slight buzzing sound, that's actually the ultrasonic sensor. So just some more thoughts about this. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really really excited by this set, I really like this set. I really like the fact that you have got a ton of parts. You can build uh, five robots, all different kinds. You can build a car with a differential. You can build a robot that you can go for competitions if you wanted to. So all in all, I, I really think this is a great set to get started with robotics. So thanks very much for watching. Um, the next thing that I'll probably be doing is a programming tutorial. Uh, so keep uh, your eyes out for that. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and uh, take care.